Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, I'll show you how to properly install the Elementor Template Kit on WordPress website. The price of Elementor Template Kit is comparatively less than WordPress theme. Now, definitely, there are many features and advantages of using WordPress theme. However, if you are creating a website for small businesses, then Elementor Template Kit will be the better option for you. You can see the price of Elementor Template Kit starts from nearly $15 only to $30 or $40, whereas the price of any WordPress theme will start from $40 to $100 or maybe more than that. Now here I have one of the Elementor template kit uh, that I'm going to install on a WordPress website. Now here the price of this Elementor template kit is around $19 which is apparently now $17. Here you can see that no Elementor Pro version is required to install this uh, template kit. Now, some of the template kits will require Elementor Pro version to install on a WordPress website. In this case, we do not need this Elementor Pro paid plugin. Definitely, there are some other plugins that we are going to use to install this template kit properly so that we can create header and footer sections of a website. All right, so let's start with it. Now here I have the WordPress installed on my computer and you can see that there is only one theme that is a basic WordPress theme and uh, there are no plugins at all, zero plugins, zero pages and zero posts. So I am going to start from the scratch, okay? So first of all, go to themes, go to add new theme and we will install the basic Elementor theme that is called as Hello Elementor. All right, so this is the theme, click on install it click on activate all right now it says that you need to install the plugin that is Elementor basic plugin click on install Elementor it is going to install the basic required plugin click on activate plugin now let me show you this is the uh, template kit that we are going to use and this is the preview of this template kit all right so this is the preview this is how the website will look once we install the template kit all right now the basic plugin is installed we are going to install one more plugin that is header and footer click on add new search for header and footer all right so this is the plugin that we are going to use click on install now click on activate all right now we are going to use one more plugin click on add new and the theme will be D theme just type in D theme and this is the D theme kit for Elementor install it click on activate all right now click on pages we are going to add a page the basic home page for this website all right so page title home now here from select from template select Elementor full width click publish all right so page is published go back to dashboard all right now go to settings then go to reading now we are going to assign this home page as the home page of the website click save changes all right now create a menu go to appearance go to menus all right so this is the main menu select home and add the home and save the menu all right so we have created the menu also let's go back to dashboard all right now here under elementor go to templates sorry go to templates here you will see kit library go to kit library now this is the library of template kits that you can use but we have already downloaded the template kit on the computer so here you will see the option to import click on it now select the file, the zip file that you have downloaded. All right, so leave it as it is in the zip format and click open. Click next. It is setting up the kit. All right, so it says that your kit is now live on your website. So click on back to dashboard. All right, so we are back to dashboard and here you will see the templates, click on it and you will see all the templates that we have installed all right now we are going to create 
the header and footer section of this website first. So click on appearance, then go to this option, Elementor header and footer builder. All right, now click on add new. Name it as header. We are going to create header first. Select the option header, display entire website, user role, select all and click publish. All right, now click on this option, edit with Elementor. All right, now here, click on this add template. Go to my templates. Now here you will see the option to select the header. Here it is. Select header, click on insert. All right, so the header is here. Okay, so this is the menu. This is the default logo. If you want to change it, click on it and select a new logo from here. So let me select this one. Whatever size you want, you can do it. I'm just going to revert it. All right, so this is the header that we have created. Click update. All right, now let's go back to dashboard. Now we are going to create the footer. Here you can click on add new. Name it as footer. Select the option footer, entire website, and this one we all click on publish. Now click on edit with Elementor. Now click on it again, add template for the footer. Go to my templates and select the option footer. Click insert. All right, so this is the footer section of your website. So you can edit any section of this website here you can change the name here you can change the address just click on it you will see the option to change it here okay from here you can change all the sections whatever you want to change if you want to delete this right click on this option click delete now this option is gone all right if you want to delete this column right click on this column click delete so this will be three column now these templates are very easy to customize whatever changes you want to make you can change it here all right now click on update Okay, so now we have header and footer created. Let's get back to dashboard. Okay, now go to pages and click on edit home page. So this is the home page. Just make sure that it is selected to Elementor full width. Now click on edit with Elementor. Now we are going to create the home page. Now click on this option again, add template. Click on it my templates and here you need to find for the home page now here you will see page home click on insert all right now you can see that the home page the template is ready okay, these are the sections of this home page you can make changes to them you can delete any section if you want to modify you can modify template happy clients let's make it testimonials whatever changes you want to make you can simply click on that section and you see you will see this option to edit here they are really very easy to modify these are the section services you can change the services this is some introduction to your website this is you can say the slider the banner here you can change these images also shows eight images selected you can click on it here are the eight images that are running here you can modify them this is the message on the banner the button whatever changes you want to make you can simply edit them here all right now let's click on update now right click and view the page all right so you can see that the page is ready the home page of your website is ready this is so simple and this is exactly similar to what you see in the preview of the template kit. This is the footer section. All right, so basically you definitely need to install the header and footer section for your website. This is going to be dynamic, the same header and footer for all the pages of your website. That's why I have installed the plugin called as header and footer. Otherwise, you will have to add header and footer on each page manually. All right, just like 
add template you can select the header first and after that you can select this template the home page some template and after that you can select the footer section so instead of going through that i have selected the header and footer the static header and footer for the entire website using that header and footer plugin all right so this is how the home page of your website will look let me create one more page for you that is going to be contact page so click on here add new click page let's name it as contact select elementor full width template click publish and go to edit with elementor all right now here click on add template then my templates and here you will see this is a block not block we are going to create a page so select page contact insert it all right you can see the contact page also this is the map if you want to change the map location you can click on this right click or you can better right click on it go to edit google maps here enter the new address and it will show that map here you can change the text these are the social media icons if you click on it it will give you the option to change the icons here add or remove here basically you need to enter a form okay if you want to add a form on the contact page you can simply add new plugin it, you can use any plugin caldera or contact form 7 and add the code here and it will show the form here click update and let's see the page all right so this is how the home page will look here you can add the contact form all right if you want to delete this section you can delete also let me show you how to delete go to edit with elementor if you want to delete entire section you can do it from here also let me show you okay let's suppose i want to delete this this section okay the entire section so what i'll do i'll simply cross this entire section when you move the cursor over this section you will see the border of this section click cross okay and update it now let's see the page okay now that section is gone okay now let me add one more page let's name it as services select elementor full width click publish and then go to edit with elementor okay add template my template now look for services page i guess it has services yeah here it is click on insert all right you can see the pages here this is the section these are the services more services if you want to delete any of them you can delete modify them let's update it and see how does this look okay so this is how the services page will look all right so the elementor template kit is definitely a very good option if you are planning to design a simple website or a website for a small business now here you will see the menu is not updated the contact and services page are not here so let's go back to dashboard then go to appearance menus select contact services and add to menu all right update the menu now let's go back to website and refresh it now you will see the menu updated let's go to contact here is the contact go to home and here is the home page the elementor template kit is definitely the better option it's very easy to install and it is very easy to customize your website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.